here we go. Let me read the question now. Given that sin x equals to t such that x is an acute angle, express sin 2x in terms of t. So this is for the question part A. For the question part B, given that cos theta equals to k for 270 degree less than theta less than 360 degree, express cos half theta in terms of k. So this is for the question part B. So continue to read the, for the question part C. Find the value of tangent 22.50 degree in third form. Okay, so this is the overall question. So let us start our discussion with the question part A now. Okay, so in order to solve the question part A, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a right angle triangle. And from there, I'm going to list down the components of the length of the triangle. And from there, we're going to express the sine 2x. Okay, so if you're wondering how I'm going to do that, okay, let me show it to you now. So let me sketch a right angle triangle. So just give me some time guys, okay, I won't take much long. Okay. It's just a sketch. So let us start our discussion now. Okay, in this case, they already gave us that sine x is equal to t. So in this case, we know that the x is actually a angle, is an angle. So we can just write here x. Okay, and make sure you just write. I mean, you you draw a right angle. I mean, the ninety degree angle. Okay. So from here, the formula of sine is opposite over a hypotenuse. And in this case, they give us that sine x is equal to t. Okay, so from here, the opposite of the angle x will be the vertical uh, height. Okay, so from here, we know that this vertical height, the length is t. Okay, and since sine x is equal to t, so from here, the hypotenuse will be 1. Because the formula of sine is opposite over hypotenuse sin x is equal to t divide with 1 so anything you divide with 1 you get the original answer right so t divide with 1 you get back t okay so this is your hypotenuse the length is 1 and the vertical height is t okay so how to find the horizontal i mean the base the length of the base very simple guys 1 square minus with t square and then you square root okay you apply the pythagoras theorem formula over here okay so this is very important okay what I will usually do is I'll just sketch a triangle and then I'll include the angle here and then I will find all the respective uh, three uh, length but then they ask you to find sine 2x okay so in order to find sine 2x so what we're going to do here we're going to apply the double angle formula Okay, remember guys, in your SPM uh, question paper, you will have, in a part, you will, the, in the first two page, you will have some list of formulas, right? Okay, you make sure you understand on how to apply those formulas, okay? Because you will find it useful in order to, for you to solve the question. Okay, so from here, we're going to apply the double angle formula. Sine to x will be equal to 2 sine x times with cos x okay so from here sine to x will be equal to 2 times with sine x so sine x we already know is t okay very straightforward right okay t okay times with cosine x cosine x how to find very simple okay the formula to find cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse okay so in this case your adjacent of the angle x will be square root of 1 square minus t square okay this is adjacent and this is the opposite okay and your hypotenuse is 1 so from here cosine x will be square root of 1 square minus t square divide with 1 like i said if you divide with 1 you will get back this answer so from here cosine x will be square root 1 square minus t square 
Okay, let me unline the square root. Okay, and close bracket. Okay, and we solve this. So from here you should get. Let me write this properly. Sine two x will be equals to two t. Okay, and then times its square root one minus t square. Okay, let me underline the square root and the solution. Okay. All right, so we are done with our question part A. So let us proceed our discussion for the question part B. Okay, for the question part B, they give that cos theta is equal to k, and then they also give the range that the angle is in between 270 degree uh, until uh, 360 degree, which means that the angle is in the third quadrant. So they ask us to express cos half theta in terms of k. Okay, similar uh, concept that you're going to apply over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch a right angle triangle and then I'm going to uh, list down all the possible uh, lengths, okay, based on the given information given by the question. Okay, very simple step. So I'm just going to copy this right angle triangle, okay, paste it over here. Okay, maybe the lengths, I will delete them. Okay, the lengths all, let me delete this. Okay. So instead of uh, writing here x, so let me just write here theta. Okay, theta over here. Alright, so cos theta is equal to k. So remember the formula to find <coughs> cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, adjacent will be at the base <coughs> k. And then the hypotenuse will be at the top over here 1. So how to find the length of the vertical, the vertical height, okay, very simple. So the vertical height will be square root of 1 square minus k square, which will in this case will be 1 minus k square, la. 1 minus k square, square root, okay. So this will be your uh, vertical length. Okay, this is your horizontal base and this is your hypotenuse. Okay, <clears throat> so the question asks us to express <clears throat> cos half theta in terms of k, but before to find a uh, cos half theta, we're going to apply the double angle formula over here. So how are you going to apply the double angle formula? So remember guys, we're going to start with the cos 2 theta. Okay, in this case, cos 2 theta is equals to 2 cos square theta minus with 1. Okay, so from here, cos 2 theta is equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. But since we are finding here cos theta, so from here it will be 2 cos square. So in, in a bracket, theta over 2. Okay, close bracket minus with 1. Okay, so basically what you do, you just apply the concept of the double angle formula and instead of uh, applying here 2 theta, you just apply here theta. Okay, you should get here 2 cos square and then in a the bracket theta over 2 minus 1. Okay, <clears throat> so from here, uh, cos theta we can find directly from here which is k. So let us uh, rearrange the equation. So 2 cos square in a bracket theta over 2 close bracket minus with 1. So you should get equals to k. Alright. So from here, <coughs> the 1 from the uh, left hand side, we move it to the right hand side. So in this case, negative 1 will become positive 1. <coughs> so 2 cos square in a bracket theta over 2, k will be equals to k plus 1. Okay, so let us continue our step. So from here, 2 cos square theta over 2 is equals to k plus 1. 
So from here cos square theta over 2 will be equals to k plus with 1 divide with 2. Okay, the 2 you divide guys, okay, you divide over here. So from here cos square theta over 2 is equals to k plus 1 over 2. So how to find the cos theta over 2? You square root them, okay, you square root over here guys. So from here cos square theta over 2 is equals to k plus 1 divided with 2. Hence cos theta over 2 will be equals to square root k plus with 1 divided with 2. Okay, and from here you will get a two possible answers because it is involving square root, right? So you will have a two possible answer where you will have plus minus k plus with 1 divided with 2. Okay, you may end up in positive k plus 1 divided with 2 or negative k plus 1 divided with 2. Okay, so how to check whether we have two answers or only one of them? Okay, remember guys, in the earlier of the question, they already give us the range. Your theta in this case will be 270 degree uh, less than theta less than 360 degree. Let us write it down in the working here. <coughs> so from here 270 degree less than theta less than 360 degree. This is for theta, but then in the working it mentioned theta over 2. So theta over 2 in this case <coughs> your angle the whole angle you have to divide with 2. So from here theta over 2 okay in this case will be so instead of 360 degree it will be 180 degree okay in the front instead of 270 degree it will be 135 degree. <coughs> so this angle 135 degree less than theta over 2 less than 180 degree is in the second quadrant of the uh, in a Cartesian plane okay remember guys you have first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant okay in this case this range falls on the second quadrant and remember cosine is always negative on the second quadrant okay before this you have 270 degree less than theta less than 360 degree it lies on the fourth quadrant cosine is positive on the fourth quadrant however the condition now has changed to theta over 2 where it uh, has the range of 135 degree less than theta over 2 less than 180 degree and in this case it lies on the second quadrant and remember guys cosine always negative on the second quadrant so from here you can only have one possible answer where cos theta over 2 will be equals to negative k plus 1 divided with 2. So this is your answer for the question part B. Okay, let me underline the solution. <coughs> So let us uh, proceed to our last question which is the question part C. From here tangent 45 degree will be equals to 2 tangent 22.5 degree okay, and then you divide with 1 minus tangent square 22.5 degree. Okay, let me underline the fraction line. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is since we are going to form a tangent uh, 22.5 degree in the third form, okay, so we're going to let uh, tangent 22.5 degree is equals to uh, let's say letter T, okay, and this tangent 45, okay, when you press in your calculator, you should get equals to 1, okay, for the next step, we're going to let tangent. 22.5 degree is equal to letter T or you can use any letter you like uh, I leave it to your preference okay so from here 1 is equals to 2T okay and then divide with 1 minus T square okay 
So from here, 1 minus t square, you times with 1. So from here, you get 1 minus t square is equals to 2t. Okay, so let us rearrange this. So 1 minus t square from the left hand side, you move it over to the right hand side. So from here, you get t square uh, plus 2t minus 1 equals to 0. So as you can see here, you are literally forming a quadratic equation. Okay, for quadratic equation, what you're going to do here is we're going to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so t will be equals to negative uh, 2. Okay, we're going to use the, all the respective uh, coefficient. So negative 2 plus minus. Okay, here will be b square minus 4ac. So it will be 2 square minus 4, 1 times with negative 1. Okay, and then you divide with 2 times with 1. Okay, let me underline the third and the fraction line. Okay, so from here you should get your t is equals to negative 2, okay, plus minus, okay, so from here 4 plus with 4 because negative negative will become positive, so it will be negative 2 plus minus square root 8 divide with 2, okay. So from here you can split into two possible un uh, answers where you will have your t is equals to negative 2 plus with square root 8 over 2 okay and then t will be equals to negative 2 minus square root 8 over 2 okay but don't just leave your answer in this way we need to do some uh, arrangements for this uh, kind of a uh, third okay it's because negative 8 we can further simplify so from here t is equals to negative 2 plus with uh, 2 times with square root 4 i mean uh, it will be square root 4 times with square root 2 guys okay square root 4 times with square root 2 Okay, same over here, t is equal to negative 2 minus square root 4 times it square root 2 over 2. Okay, so from here, you should get your t is equal to negative 2 plus with 2 square root 2 over 2. And from here, t will be equal to negative 2 minus 2 square root 2 over 2 okay so we have already break down the certs okay but then you should remember guys okay tangent 22.5 degree is more than 0 okay okay tangent 22.5 degree is more than 0 okay tangent 45 degree is 1 so tangent 22.5 degree of course it should be a positive value right okay so from here okay so from here to find the tangent 22.5 degree will be equals to we will take the positive value guys okay negative 2 plus with 2 square root 2 over 2 okay so the 2 we can simplify them so we can cancel them out so from here you get is square root 2 minus 1. So from here tangent 22.5 degree will be equal to square root 2 minus 1. So if you are wondering how I do this, okay, very simple. So uh, the 2 I factor out. So from here you get negative 1 plus with uh, square root 2. Okay, you, you factor out the denomin I mean denominator as well. So the 2 and 2 you cancel off. Okay, the 1 in denominator you can omit it and then later on you rearrange to become square root 2 minus 1. So that's how I get the answer. Okay, so let me underline the solution. Okay, 
for the question part C. Okay. So we have come to the end of our discussion for the SPM 2021 uh, paper 1 question number 15. So if you like this video make sure that you give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming AdMatch tutorial videos in the future and make sure that you share this video to your friends. Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.